So we are live for the first episode of The Real Virtual Show. I'm your host, Malia Probst. This is Blake Liebel, my co-host today. And we are talking with Mike Murdoch of Otherworld VR. How is that kind of a little bit different uh, in virtual reality? How's that director role sort of shift? The tricky thing is figuring out how to tell stories that you're inside of. Virtual reality is really about being inside of the story world. It's not about watching a story. It's about going to the place where the story happens. Why is this wave of virtual reality technology and innovation going to succeed and where it didn't perhaps take off in the past? Uh, in the 90s, it was a very isolating experience. Built into virtual reality is this social aspect that we're so excited make realities that are better if you're inside of them. And uh, and that's what gets me really excited about this. We have a visually spectacular story or experience happening around them. They're kind of running uh, some tests over there to see how this can treat uh, some forms of mental illness as well as, well as PTSD, um, anxiety, phobias, such as fear of heights. I've seen applications where people can overcome their fears. It allows you to safely do these types of immersion um, treatments for psychotherapy. Uh, current NFL teams and current college football teams are using right now, they're using 360 video to capture plays and practices. So instead of watching traditional tape, what these athletes are then able to do is they're actually able to relive that experience. So they're able to step back into the position where they were and relive that snap and see exactly why that pocket collapsed and see exactly when they missed the open receiver or, you know, they didn't see the blitz coming, whatever, whatever that case may be. You can experience kind of the visceral thrill of sports in an environment that you really can't fail at, but it also builds the positive feedback of, you know, visualizing your body doing things 